Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at how to create a simple text animation where certain characters of a text are filled with another color. Uh, this can be great if you want to emphasize certain parts of a text. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so to get started, we can either use Fusion Composition Clip, Adjustment Clip, or just the video clip itself. Uh, but here I'm going to go with the Fusion Composition Clip, bring that into our timeline, and then take it directly to the Fusion page. Now once we're on the Fusion page, I'm going to bring the text node into the node tree, connect it to Media Out 1, and then uh, just gonna write out our text here. And then uh, once this is done, we're then going to bring the background node in between text and the media out one. This is going to be the color that we'll be using to fill the text with. So once the color is chosen, we're then going to connect the output from text to the effect mask input of background node. So we're essentially using our text here as the mask for our background color. Okay, so if we go ahead and bring, let's say, another masking node, such as rectangle, connected to merge one, you're gonna see that now we can essentially limit this color to show up only on certain characters of our text. However, at this point, to create the text appearance effect, we still can't quite do it yet. If we drag this masking node left and right, you will see that all this will do is just move the color to another character in the same text. So make, to make sure that we can do that text appearance, all we need to do is to copy and paste this same masking node and then uh, in the first masking node, let's change the paint mode from merge to minimum. So once we do that, now if we go ahead and drag this masking node left and right, you will see that now this color will only work on these characters. Okay, we're ready to keyframe at this point. So let's go ahead and move our play height to the 24th keyframe. Let's go ahead and set a keyframe there and then come to the 48th keyframe, uh, set another keyframe there and then come to the first one here. We're gonna move this mask all the way to the left out of the picture. And then uh, we can also come to the spine editor to play with the interpolation. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the curve that I think is going to work better for this effect. And now if we take this back to the edit page, we're going to see that we have now executed this effect beautifully. Okay, so now let's take this back to the Fusion page. And I want to illustrate how it is easy it is to just copy and paste these background nodes and then replicate the same effect for another character within the same text. And all we need to do is to go to the new rectangle masking node and just move the center parameter, move the position over uh, to uh, over the, the, the character, the word Seattle, because I, that's the a character that uh, I want to now apply this same effect to. So that's all we're doing here is just to move uh, the center uh, parameters for both keyframes and then go back to the other rectangle uh, here as well. Make sure that it's over the word Seattle. And then uh, at this point, let's connect the output from text to the effect mask input of the background node. And here, essentially, we have replicated the same effect for two different characters within the same text. And because it's a new background node, so you can actually also change the color of it as well. So if we go ahead and choose a different color, we have now uh, two different colors for two, two different uh, characters within the same text. So if you look at the final output, um, this is looking great, guys. And lastly, because this is a fusion composition uh, clip, we can take this to another track very easily and then bring another clip underneath it. So now we uh, can use this text animation that we just created as an overlay uh, on top of uh, another video clip. So I hope this helps guys and uh, I will see you next time.